Well, last night I went round and fixed all the LEDs and I had all 60 glowing nicely. This morning there's two dead ones and at least three that are fairly dim in case you can't notice. Dead one there, dead one there, the one next to it's pretty dim. There's a dim one there. That one's a funny colour. So I might have to swap out a few more LEDs. Not looking forward to that. Good morning guys, just looking at a bit of 3D printing I left running overnight and it looks like I've got a problem with the printer. At first I thought um, the print had actually slipped on the bed, but I've just watched the video back because I videoed it and the base, the bottom of the base, has stayed exactly where it sh should be. I think it's the belt has slipped, so it's all gone out of alignment. I'll have to go and have a look at the belt. That'll be annoying. I wonder if it's lost some teeth or something, or it's just gone loose. But I mean, it'll. That means it's just suddenly gone loose, which is unlikely. I think it's more likely it's lost some teeth. I'll have to be replaced. We will see. All right, successful print this time. Had to print it on a raft. I'm really not sure what went wrong last time. I have tightened the belt a little bit just to make sure it wasn't slipping. That's the only thing I can think happened on the previous one. That looks okay. We'll go and see if it fits now. Depending on how I edit this together, I may be repeating myself. Decided to make a back plate for my digital clock here. First attempt, something went wrong in printing. Not quite sure what happened there. It looks very much to me like the whole bed shifted out of alignment on the well, that'd be the y-axis the up down axis whether it slipped on the um, drive belt I don't know but it just seems to have started printing all right with this piece and then it slipped about five or six millimeters there that line just there is supposed to be on top of that one and then it slipped again about another seven or eight millimetres 
and then stayed in place. So all the rest of that got printed okay, but all out of alignment. And the only way I can see that happening is for the whole bed to have moved out of alignment because that was still stuck to the bed. That hadn't slipped. So the bed went out of alignment somehow. I tried to tighten it up on the y-axis, retention it. But to be on the safe side, I printed it with um, whatever they call that first, a raft, didn't it? And that printed fine. And we should be able to just clip it off the raft. Does mean you get a slightly rougher surface. Oh, those bits should just come off easily. I do know there's quite often problems when you're printing a flat surface. It, it often goes wrong. Okay, so that's scrap, that's scrap. These look like they need trimming just a little bit in the holes. they fit that's a good start I'm actually thinking of gluing them in place and then these ones go right the way through now I've actually done that upside down those holes there for those buttons there let's disconnect Those are going to be glued on there. I've actually put a hole right the way through because it does occur to me that it's quite possible these may snap. So it might pay me to stick a bit of wire up there to reinforce them. Because the idea is it's going to sit back on them or even, and I've cleaned those holes, on there I've measured that distance so it can sit on top of my monitor, computer monitor. So that's the thought behind that. I need to see if I've got any small screws that we can actually use on the back of there. I'll have a look in my box of screws. I suppose I'll just show you what I'm talking about. That's going to go through there like that. They're going to be screwed in place. So I've still got access to the buttons and access for the USB cable to come through. Right, those, those four screws look about right. Glued them in. Now one thing I didn't mention, or at least I did earlier, I'm not sure if it'll be in the same bit of video after I've edited this, um, some of the LEDs have already gone faulty. Last night I went through and fixed about, I don't know, over a dozen of them. There's 60 altogether and quite a few of the green ones have gone faulty. Oh, my super glue isn't holding. That's no good. Never mind, we can fix that in a minute. We'll do this just to check the alignment. Uh, that's way out. That one is way out. Why is that one way out? Those are all equally spaced. That one is right off centre. Oh well. Uh, 
Oh, yeah, that one struck my super glue didn't do the job, or I didn't wait long enough. Still, the idea is that's going to sit on top of my monitor. So I need to position that on the back there and get the width right so it sits on the monitor. I'll put a bit more glue on the ones that are turning. I don't know what we're going to do about that one. We're just going to forget about that one. Interesting. I can't imagine why that one's drilled out of position. I could drill another hole in it, I suppose, just to line it up. Because this bit here, the outer edge, is surplus anyway. There's a brake line along there that you could snap it off and just have a cir circular clock. The other thing is I do want to be able to take this apart again because I probably will end up resoldering some of those dead LEDs. If I just put that back in. Uh, and change the sequence. Is that the one that gives us most of them on? See this whole bunch over here now we're not lighting up. And it is just a matter of if I put some pressure on them in the right direction, they do light up. The um the legs inside the plastic dome seem to be loose and they're not making the right connection to make the LED light. I thought it was my soldering, but it isn't. It's actually the LEDs. Anyway, we'll sort that out. As you can see, it overbalances now. Oh no, that's going to stay there now. Oh, I've got the wire on the back. That's what's holding it the right way up now. Yes, I'll call that a half success. I'll go and get it on top of the monitor so we can check it's what I wanted. Before I forget, I did mention about putting some wire down in the back there to strengthen it. That's a bicycle spoke. So I'll just cut some bits to length just so that these don't split. Which they tend to have a habit of doing when they're printed with horizontal layers. Right, slight change of plan. That bit on the back of those legs sticking out wasn't clamping it onto the top of my monitor well enough. So I've now printed this U-shaped piece. Still sits on those um, pillars sticking out of the, uh, whatever we want to call it, the pillars that were sitting on there. So now, that sits on there just right. In fact, it actually leans down a tiny bit because it's a loose fit, which when I'm sitting down here is perfect. I'll plug it in and we'll have a look at it. Well, that was clever. I forgot that I needed a space for the USB lead to go in the back. So as you can see, I've cut a slot out, well, I melted it out with my hot nail on a stick. So I'll have to modify my design a bit. Not that I intend to print this again, but just in case somebody wants it, I better make sure it's got a slot in it. Right, so now it should It's up there. So when I sit down here, I can look up there and see the time. That'll do. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, 
and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.